Well, aloha. Thank you for joining me. My name is Master Paul. And today is June 8, 2016. And I am beginning the live stream for the subject matter of the Lower Don Tian Second Soul House. As is normal for this live stream event, it will be going on for about one hour. And during this time, I will offer wisdom, teachings from Master Shah, <coughs> teachings that are specific to the Lower Don Tian and how it can increase your healing and your rejuvenation. We'll be talking about some practices that you can do We'll be doing actual practices during this live stream and we will also be doing a soul reading or two during this time and so for the first five or so minutes we will be waiting for all those to come online to join this live stream event welcome Connie welcome Pat and welcome Yvonne thank you all for joining me today welcome Kristen great to see all of you so as we continue to wait for everyone to join I would like to chant love, peace and harmony to set the energy field to call forth all of the holy beings. Welcome Donna. Dear Divine, dear Tao and dear Source, dear my spiritual teacher and spiritual father Master Shah, I love you, honor you, respect you and I bow down to you. I humbly ask for your presence today. Please come to sit in my message center. Please borrow my mouth. Allow me to teach your wisdom, your guidance, your insights. Allow me to touch the heart of all those that join us here today, that we can serve them in the highest and best way. To the soul of all the information on the Second Energy Center, Second Soul House, known as the Lower Dantian, all the esoteric wisdom associated with that, the highest, best, and most necessary practices for today, for all those that join us live and on recording. Love you all, honor, I appreciate you all. Could you please come? Could you please assist <coughs> in guiding my practices today to serve all those that join us in the highest, best, the most appropriate way? Dear the Source Soul Song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, to all the souls of those that are here today and those who will watch this in the future. I love you. Can you please turn on in all of us and allow us to receive your blessings, to receive your love, light, forgiveness, and compassion, your love, peace, and harmony to help transform our lives that we can align our soul, heart, mind, and body to the divine's soul, heart, mind, and body. We are so grateful for your service. So I invite all of you to join with me in chanting love, peace, and harmony for the next couple of minutes as we prepare for the teachings and blessings that will come today. Lula li lula, lula li lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai chen ren ling, wang ling rong er mu shi xiang. Song I ping on her sing, Song I ping on her sing. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Welcome, Carrie. Welcome, Pat. Welcome, Kat. 
welcome crystal welcome down I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony in Hawaiian Eloha mai iau Eloha kako hapau e pihili mai puvai kako Aloha mali e lokahi Aloha how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony for your service and aligning all of our hearts and souls here today so that any wisdom and teachings that is shared reaches all of us at the highest, deepest levels. <clears throat> Welcome, Kristen, thank you for joining. I believe I have acknowledged everybody else if I haven't. As Master Shah would say, the, those who are not acknowledged get even more blessings. So thank you for all coming. <clears throat> so I'm very excited. Today is talking about the Lower Dan Tian. And what I will be covering today is the significance and the power of the Lower Dan Tian. I will be talking about what is the Lower Dan Tian why it is important to know about it and to empower it and then how we empower it how it can serve us when we do this action to empower it then I will do some soul readings and I will do one actually after I read the definition that Master Shah has in the books of the of the power and significance of the Lower Dan Tian I will ask the soul world to offer additional information uh, for us here today and so then also afterwards We'll do maybe a few soul readings. <clears throat> Many of the health-related issues in the from the belly button down, if there is discomfort, if there is the labels such as diverticulitis, Crohn's disease, uh, uh, IBD, irritable bowel syndrome, if there is uh, consistent cramping or anything of this nature, then. Uh, many many times this is related to um, imbalances energetically of the entire lower abdomen uh, constipation another so there's a lot of things that when you when you look at the belly button down if you have uh, any kind of blockages uh, then doing practices for the lower Dantian which is also known as the second soul house or second energy center is very very pertinent to your overall health and well-being so we're going to talk about that a bit more today and welcome Archana thank you for joining me today so I appreciate you all coming let us first start by honoring our spiritual teacher and father master Shah let us bow our head nine times to this beloved being that has brought this wisdom to us everything that I share is basically um, re reiterated information that master Shah has brought and the beautiful thing about Dr. Master Shah is he never takes credit for this wisdom. He, he always gives credit to the divine. He now has over 20 books, 10 of which have reached the New York Times bestsellers list. And that does not happen accidentally. The thing that amazes me most about the teachings of Dr. Master Shah <coughs> is that when he writes the books, he doesn't often know what is coming out of his mouth because he is in flow. He is receiving the words, he is speaking the words. When he is in workshops and he is teaching from his books, I have literally seen him reading and, and he has to stop and ask uh, Master Cynthia, who is the person that types everything for him, um, and she, she's so much more than that, but for simple purposes we'll say that. Um, he has to ask her, what, what does that word mean? Now, this is the man that wrote the book. So what does that tell you? It tells you that he received the information in a non-native language. He receives it in English, speaks it out, and at least part of the time is not even sure what the word means. So truly goes to show you the power 
of the wisdom that is coming through in Dr. and Master Shah's books. So I'm deeply honored to be a worldwide representative of Master Shah that I can impart some of this wisdom so it can serve you. So let us read <coughs> from the Tao Song Tao Dance book. This is um, earlier in his book, before the actual practices start. And this is on page 37 and 38. And so this is specifically on the second soul house. So I will read this. The significance, benefits, and power of the second soul house can be summarized as follows. And by the way, welcome Renee, thank you for joining. The second soul house is the key for empowering the lower Don Tien. It is a fist-sized foundational energy center that is centered one and a half sun below the navel and two and a half sun inside the front of the body. The sun, for you, those of you that are not familiar, if you look at my thumb, the widest area of my thumb, the width in that widest area, is called a tsun. It's a measure that is uh, was developed uh, probably thousands and thousands of years ago in Mandarin Chinese. That's what it's called. So it's a measurement. Similar to an inch, but for each person it's a little different. Every person's thumb is a little thicker or a little thinner. So there you have it. A little bit of lore from the old eras. So roughly two and a half inches inside the body, excuse me, uh, one and a half inches approximately below the navel, two and a half inches approximately inside the body. Now it's a fist-sized energy center, you cannot see it. Uh, it's, um, it's like a golden light bulb and it's roughly two inches of size inside there. It is also the key soul house for healing the large intestine. What is associated with Crohn's disease? What is associated with irritable bowel syndrome? What is associated with constipation? What is associated with all of these labels that people have? It is the sacred powerhouse for rejuvenation. The sacred powerhouse. Powerhouse, that's a powerful word for rejuvenation. How many of us need rejuvenation? How many of you like the idea of getting older? It is the sacred powerhouse for losing weight. And in Master Shah's earlier teachings, uh, he reemphasizes it is the center for healing, rejuvenation, stamina, stamina, being able to, to do things for the long haul. Vitality. Vitality is not limited to a moment. Vitality is the entirety of your life force and energy. So the, the second soul house is exceedingly important for our overall engine of life. Think about it, you get up every day, we wake up, everyone has a different process of getting up. Some of us, eyes pop open, jump out of bed, jump in the shower, ready to go. Some of us, eyes don't pop open. Our eyelid opens a little bit, we roll over and go back to sleep for another 20 minutes. And then we duplicate that process for a total of maybe a half hour so we don't have a choice anymore and then we grumble on the way to starting our morning. Vitality, energy, stamina, all of this is related to having a strong foundational energy center. Now one of the things that I like to do with the way I teach is I like to draw analogies. If you can think of it like this then this will make more sense. That's an analogy. And an analogy that I find works well for me anyway, hopefully the women can appreciate it, is the analogy of a vehicle. Even uh, uh, those that don't know anything about cars know that it's important to change the oil at least once in a while. It's important to give it a tune up, so to speak. So you want to think of the human vehicle like a, a car. It needs to be tuned up. It needs to be kick-started occasionally. And how do we do that? We have seven battery cells in our body. They are called the seven soul houses. Now, what I mean by that, battery cells, they each are a powerhouse. They are each a storage place of our energies. And when they get blockages, it impedes the flow. It impedes the flow in all aspects. Through the center of our body is an energy river. It literally goes from the base 
of our body where uh, if you were to place your hand down near your perineum, uh, near your genital area, the point between your perineum anus and your genital area, there's a point right in the middle. And that shoots straight up through your body at the top of your head, right through the center of your body. That is a energy channel. And it goes right back down in front of your spine, comes to the bottom and then back up and it loops around. Now, if that was a river of water, what do you think would happen if a beaver came in and built a dam on your river? What would happen to the flow? Slow down. Makes sense, right? What would happen if seven dams were built on your river? What then would happen to the flow? It would divert. It would basically eventually get around. But along the way, you would have very low energy. You would have very low stamina, vitality, and immunity. You're starting to see the picture. You're starting to put the pieces together. Each of the seven soul houses are exceedingly pertinent to our health and well-being. The lower foundational soul houses are exceedingly important for the beginning of our engine. They're exceedingly important to the foundational energy, which is why it's called a foundational energy center. So when we boost power to that foundational energy center, you want to think of it as like pumping water up the stream. Zzz, it has to go through these other soul houses back around. Okay? Now, pushing anything up it means you're going against gravity. So if we're trying to clear the blockages, and our blockages in this uh, example are in the form of beavers building a dam in our waterway, most all of us have blockages along that pathway. So we want to boost the power as much as possible to blow that out and get that energy moving. Because if it can move, we have a less propensity of sickness. One of Master Shah's statements is from the Yellow, uh, canon, Yellow Emperor's Canon, which is a 5,000 year old document on Eastern medicine. I will try to state it as correctly as I have heard it stated, which is, when energy flows, sickness cannot occur. And so how do we flow the energy? We clear the blockages in the seven soul houses. Today we're focusing on the lower soul houses, the second soul house, lower Dantian. Now when you watch those doing Tai Chi, like this, right? This is Tai Chi. Qigong. Qigong is, is more of a very orderly series of movements, not a consistent flow of the movement of energy in circles. Although that can be construed as Qigong, most likely that's associated with Tai Chi. Whereas Qigong is a very specific series of postures and movements that specifically focus on certain uh, channels in the body or certain energy centers in the body to help clear the blockages in that way. So if you take a look at those or any of the martial arts, you know, Master Shah talks about how when he, um, when he was a child, age five, six, he went to the park and he witnessed a, a Tai Chi master. And this master had his students attack him, flying at him, and he would just move his arms like this and poof, and push them back with an energetic, invisible impulse. And they would fly back. Imagine a six-year-old, oh my God, you know, even today if I saw that, I would be like the six-year-old, oh my God. How impressive is something like that for a little child to see? They don't even touch the master and they're flying backwards. So Master Shah learned that art form in four years. Four years. Then he moved on to the next one. So how does the master do that? He harnesses and gathers energy in his second energy center. All of the martial arts focus on the lower Dan Tien, second energy center, second soul house. I continue to use the same words because everybody will have known it under different terminology. Master Shah calls it lower Dan Tien, second soul house. So when we take the time to boost this foundational energy center, we are utilizing lifetimes of ancient wisdom and we are empowering the, uh, the engine of our human body. We are clearing the blockages that cause 
constipation that cause irritation in our bowels, uh, lower back pain that can be uh, benefited by strengthening this area. Again, anything below the navel can be benefited by strengthening this area. When we put enough power into this zone, it literally pushes through the other soul houses and it creates a, um, a movement by which that entire energy cycle can correctly occur. So this is the, the reasoning behind this. So now I will do a flow. I will ask <coughs> um, the divine or whoever chooses to come to offer a teaching additionally beyond what we know that is pertinent to all those that join here today, all those that will watch it in the future, so that we can receive any other wisdom that uh, at this time could be of value for all of us. And then we'll do a practice to help boost this area. Welcome, Anne Marie. Thank you for joining. How? This is the soul of Master Shah. I taught the terminology second soul house not the other names that history shows. Why did I choose this name? Why was I told this name by the Divine? Each soul goes through a process through its many incarnations and in its elevation of its soul standing, a soul can reside in or anywhere in between the soul houses. The key wisdom for all of you to know is that when there are blockages in and between the seven soul houses, sickness can occur. When there is flow and the blockages are cleared, sickness has difficulty to sustain and grow. Rejuvenation and longevity are very possible. The seven soul houses carry tremendous karma or spiritual debt from the many lifetimes of misuse of the energy channels of misunderstanding of their value, purpose and significance and of their misuse in aligning to source. Our thoughts, words, and actions and the associated spiritual debt and virtue fill the spaces in between the soul houses and create resistance to smooth energy flow. The practices that I have brought to serve you carry the highest frequencies on earth. They carry the divine's frequencies in all of their Shen Qi and Jing and they elevate the imbalanced frequencies in the seven soul houses. Chant 
my mantras often. The more you chant, the faster the benefits will occur. When you chant, I come, I will serve you. Use and share my mantras to heal your life. This is Master Shah. How? Thank you, Master Shah, for that deeper wisdom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, Lily. Thank you for joining us. So that was the flow for uh, Lily, who just joined us on uh, the power and significance of the second soul house to serve us in our soul journey. Um, what Master Shah was sharing with us was its interconnectivity to all of the soul houses. Uh, so let us do a practice now. So yesterday, <coughs> we used the Divine Love, Peace, and Harmony Rainbow Light Ball. Today, we're going to use Shah's Golden Healing Ball to bless the Lower Dantian. Because it is a foundational energy center, it is in the shape of a ball. And in using the Golden Healing Ball to transform this area, we can have huge benefits. So Shah's Golden Healing Ball was given uh, about 15 years ago, actually about 18 years ago. And when, uh, when the Divine said, I want to give this ball to all humanity, I want to put your name on it, of course, Master Shah was like, you know, I'm really uncomfortable with, with my name being placed on this healing ball. And the Divine told him, it is to honor you for your service. So what's he going to say? No, no thank you. So he went ahead and agreed. But Shah's Golden Healing Ball is available for all souls in all universes. One of the great values of it is it's an unconditional universal servant. So when we ask it to come from heaven, to go to all of the hungry children of Africa, to come to their lower abdomens, to bring healing and balance to their lower abdomens, as you do the chanting, for example, of love, peace, and harmony, that is a form of unconditional service. That is a form of serving others in the lower Dantian area of their body so that they receive the benefits. Lower Dantian, excuse me, the, uh, the Shah's Golden Healing Ball is doing the service. The soul, soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony is doing the service. We are just the soul that is asking these uh, holy um, uh, healing deities to go to those areas to serve. And as they do the service, Naturally, heaven opens our Akashic record and we receive additional virtue for our desire to serve other souls for that part of the body. We're going to do that today because we always want to incorporate our own healing by serving others. Okay? Try to remember that as you continue to go through the remainder of this life. Regardless of what suffering you're doing, you have the tools that are external to us. Shah's Golden Healing Ball, Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball, Love, Peace, Harmony, Soul Song, all the treasures in Master Shah's books, the calligraphies, they are all external treasures that have substantial more healing abilities than you and me. And when we ask them to serve, and we are the middleman by which they are initiated and activated, uh, we can serve so many that way. And naturally, our uncomfortability or our blockages will be positively impacted. So it's, it's a key and necessary insight that I hope you continue to learn to apply. And more importantly than that, share this with the children. If we can teach them how to serve others, not doing it themselves, by employing these, uh, these other external healing factors, then they can learn the value of external service. They move away from selfishness towards selflessness. And that is the key for humanity to survive as we move forward. We have to make this, this shift. And the children are uh, the only way that's truly going to happen at the largest scale. So the more we can make this type of wisdom uh, stepped down to them, the better we can. Keep it simple. Just teach them love, peace, and harmony, and teach them that to ask all souls to join and, and that uh, love, peace, harmony will do the blessings, that they just sing it. Keep it simple. Children can grasp that. They'll be happy to do it, and they'll get huge benefits. And guess what? They'll talk to those others around them. And if they have a tummy ache or toothache or something, same thing. 
say, let's chant for all the other children that have toothaches right now, okay? And he says, okay, and he's not feeling that good. And you just chant 10 minutes. Guarantee his tooth's going to be feeling a lot better after those 10 minutes. So try it. As Master Shah says, you don't know if a pear is sweet until you eat it. Try it. So let's do this practice together. Place your hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Left palm over your heart center, right palm, right palm pointed towards heaven. <clears throat> close your eyes. I will be keeping mine open because I'm on a video. But you know what I look like, so close your eyes. Repeat after me. Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. I thank you for your unconditional service. Can you please come from heaven? Please go to all the children of this world that are starving and hungry, the ones especially that have lower abdominal problems. Please bless and boost their second soul house. Build their foundational energy centers. Bless as appropriate their intestines and anything else that is appropriate to bless and the lower parts of their body. Help fulfill any hunger that they might have and bless them to have a better life. We trust that you will offer the highest and best blessing. We are honored to chant on behalf to serve them. So visualize Millions of golden healing balls going to millions of children around the world. There's pockets like in Africa. There's pockets of golden healing balls going there. Woof! There's other areas, Romania, other areas where these golden healing balls are going. Thailand, Malaysia, many places they're going to all the children that are suffering. Let us chant and see these golden light balls brightening up, getting brighter, brighter, brighter. Let us chant Shah's golden healing ball while we're chanting, visualizing all of these children receiving the blessings. Shah's golden healing ball, 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 Shah's golden healing ball. Continue to chant as I walk you through a visualization. The balls are spinning in all of the children. I want you to visualize that they all gather into one Buddha-like child. All the children's souls collect into one. And there is a huge golden healing ball. And inside this Buddha baby, there are millions of children receiving this blessing. All of the balls have come together in one. They are all spinning to make the hugest, brightest healing ball and as each child is healed the child starts to sing Shah's golden healing ball as well to offer service to the next child Shah's golden healing ball 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 Shah's golden healing ball, 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 Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Continue to chant silently, visualizing this healing ball getting bigger, 
it is now the entire lower abdomen and it is moving wider around the body and moving taller towards the heart center and it is clearing the blockages in each of the lower soul houses it is going down to the first soul house at the base energy center and it is healing and blessing the base energy center it is clearing the blockages in the first second third and fourth soul house you can see the golden ball spinning in those first four soul houses and they are clearing the blockages they are there but the big golden light ball is spinning and getting brighter and brighter it is gathering the light from all the stars planets galaxies and universes Shah's golden healing ball is clearing the blockages in the seven soul houses Shah's golden healing ball 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 it expands to the whole body clearing the blockages in the fifth sixth and seventh soul house the brain is clearing as it spins getting brighter and brighter Shah's golden healing ball 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 seeing seven individual balls in the seven soul houses and one huge golden ball that is spinning around all of these souls healing and rejuvenating clearing their blockages bringing energy rejuvenation stamina vitality healing their organs and systems clearing some of the spiritual debt that brought them into that life bringing possibilities to them that they can only have a better life that they can create a better life for themselves and others new mindsets are coming in with this golden light see the golden light ball getting bigger and brighter there is literally no possibility of any darkness remaining in that golden light ball Shah's golden healing 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 ball and now see all at once the ball shoots out all the millions of children poof, right back to where they came from they each have their own healing ball still spinning with them but they're back where they came from and the golden healing ball the big one now comes to you to surround your entire body see it and encompass your entire body Shah's golden healing ball 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 continue to chant this healing ball starts to shrink becoming smaller but brighter smaller but more condensed brighter and brighter and shinier and brighter and smaller until it's about two inches circle bright and bright and bright it is glowing like the Sun glowing like the Sun and it drops down to your first soul house at the base of your torso spinning zzz, 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 zzz. clearing 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 dark stuff is just flying out zzz, 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 zzz. Shah's golden healing ball, 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 Shah's golden healing ball. Zzz, 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 zzz. Spinning, 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 spinning. Slowly, it goes straight up to the second soul house, clearing the debris until it gets to below the belly button, in the middle of your body, 
Second swell. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Darkness leaving. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. See it spinning. See it spinning. It's clearing blockages. Clearing blockages in your intestines. Clearing blockages in your organs. It's clearing blockages in your lower back. Getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Your whole lower abdomen is the size of this golden ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Now slow it down. It becomes bright and shiny, comes back to two inches. Shah's golden healing ball. Notice the first and second soul houses are incredibly bright and shiny. But as you look up through the center of your body, there are some blockages in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh that slowly go up to just behind the belly button. A couple inches, stop. Now let's start spinning. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Purifying, cleansing. Purifying, cleansing. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. It's radiating light. It's clearing blockages in the kidneys, clearing blockages in the liver, the pancreas, the small intestine. It's clearing blockages in your lower jaw, the whole area receiving huge light and blessings. And now as you look up, you see, wow, there are blockages in my heart center as you move slowly up the channel, spinning, clearing blockages, spinning, clearing blockages, moving towards the heart center, stopping at the heart center. Now start expanding the ball. Zzz, zzz. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Spinning, spinning, brighter, brighter, clearing the blockages. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Notice how clear the chest is. It's clearing blockages in your lungs. Sadness and grief flying away. Anxiety flying away, depression, flying away, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Each of your arteries, each of your blood vessels, all your veins in your heart, purifying, cleansing, brighter, brighter, golden light, purifying, cleansing, all the blockages are releasing, zzz, zzz, zzz. light, light. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Now I want you to have a huge starburst right from your heart center. Push, blow it all out. Bring it back to two inches, zook. Shining brightly. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. And as you look up, you see a blockage in your throat in the fifth soul house. So slowly you go up the channel, clearing the blockages. Zzz, zzz. Shah's golden healing ball. Up to the center of the chest, clearing the blockages. Keep going, keep going. You're getting close to the neck. Shah's golden healing ball, stopping in the neck. Zzz, 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 zzz. Shah's golden healing ball. And you see that there are some blockages. There are some tightness in this area where you did not speak what you wanted to speak where you have a lack of confidence. And so you ask Shah's Golden Healing Ball to please clear these blockages. Shah's Golden Healing Ball, Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Grow the ball to the size of your neck. Shah's Golden Healing Ball, Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Shah's Golden Healing Ball, Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Spinning, spinning. Nothing left in your neck. Bring it back to two inches. Zzz, 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 zzz. And now you look up and you see in the center of your brain, the third eye, the pineal gland, there is some crustacean there. Slowly you go up and you are bringing healing to your jaw, your teeth, your gums. Zzz, 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 zzz. The back of your neck, the back of your neck, the back of your brain. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Clearing blockages in this channel all the way up to the center of the corpus callosum, stopping in the center of your brain. Stop. Ball is spinning. Zzz, 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 zzz. 
Shah's golden healing ball. 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 Expands the size of your brain. Your whole brain is golden light. Zzz, zzz, zzz. This light is going through every cell. Hundreds of billions of cells getting purified, purified, purified. Light, light, light. Light, the darkness is flying out. Zzz, 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 zzz. Light, 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 light. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Condense the light, condense the light. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Feel your brain. Gently bring this light back to the center of your brain. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's go. Notice your brain is glowing golden, pure light. And as you see, as you look up, you see heaven way up there, the brightest light. But you see that it is going through a tinted filter, the gap between your sixth soul house and your seventh soul house chakra above the top of your head has blockages. Let's go up. Zzz, 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 zzz. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Clears my blockages, clears my blockages, clears my blockages, clears my blockages. Zzz, zzz. Come to the top of your head, zzz, zzz. sitting on top of your head. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Clears my seventh soul house, clears my seventh soul house. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Zzz, zzz, zzz. And now now from the center of Shah's golden healing ball shoots down and up at the same time a line zook, straight to heaven a line straight to earth zook. see the line you're still spinning zzz, 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 zzz. Shah's golden healing ball 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 now this line stays and it continues to connect heaven to earth but Shah's golden healing ball it looks and it looks down the back of your brain and then down in front of your spine all the way down to the base of your body and as it looks it sees that this area too is not clear so it decides that it's going to spin and we're going to go about one inch with each time we chant Shah's golden healing ball Clearing this path all the way down to the base of your torso. Begin. Shah's golden healing ball. 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 Clears your neck area. Shah's golden healing ball starts going down your spine. Shah's golden healing ball. 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 Down, down, down your spine. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. And the ball stops right at the curvature at the bottom of your spine. About, about uh, four inches above the bottom of your spine is where it dips in and it stops right there. Zzz, 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 zzz. Mingman acupuncture point needs a blessing to clear the blockages. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Ming Min acupuncture point. Ming Min acupuncture point. Ming Min acupuncture point. Ming Min acupuncture point. Shah's golden healing ball. 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 And now it's clear. Let's move it down the remainder of your spine. Zzz, zzz. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Down to the base of your torso. Down to the first soul house. Sitting at your first soul house. Sitting at your first soul house. Zzz, zzz, zzz. And now as you look around, you see the center channel is very 
very clear, but this channel you went through needs a little more blessing. So we're gonna go back up through all seven soul houses to the top of your head, back down in front of your spine, all the way down. Back up through the center of your body, back down to the bottom of your body. Back up through the center of your body, back down to the bottom of your body. Again, keep doing that. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Spinning, spitting, clearing, clearing, vibrating, clearing, clearing. Shah's golden healing ball. Spinning, vibrating, clearing. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Keep doing that and notice how pure the whole channel is. Zzz, zzz, round and round and round. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball slows down now and it comes to a rest in your second soul house. House. Bring it back to your second soul house. Zzz, zzz, zzz. And now, on the outside, the ball stops. On the inside, there is a Shaw's Golden Healing Ball still spinning, and it is still permeating the whole body. Shaw's Golden Healing Ball, it's gathering. The ball that is inside is gathering the light from the sun from the moon, from the earth, from all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. Countless saints, countless saints' animals are sending their blessings. They're sending it to you, Shah's Golden Healing Ball, and you are gathering it into your second soul house. Zzz, zzz, see it pulling in, literally pulling in like you were a universe, pulling everything into you. Zzz, 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 gathering, gathering, condensing, 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 condensing. Gather light, gather light, gather light, gather light, condensing, condensing. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Brighter, brighter, stronger, stronger. Brighter, 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 stronger, stronger. More solid, more solid, more solid. Zzz, zzz. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Now stop, take a breath, feel the entirety of your body. Make note of what is vibrating. Make note of your hands, your feet, your toes. What are you feeling? Is the top of your head, your crown chakra, open? Did you receive any third eye images or messages from the divine? Did Shah's golden healing ball go to a specific place in your body and stay there even when the instructions were to go someplace else? What was your experience offering service to our beloved children of this world? Okay, now with a smile, start writing down your sharing. I will do a flow as to the value of this practice for the children. While you share with me and all those that will watch this in the future, the value of this practice for you. How? This is Shah's Golden Healing Ball. It has been my greatest honor to serve in this most extraordinary way. It is unfortunate that I have been forgotten in many ways. As I have come, I have manifest to do exactly what I was asked to do. I hope that all those that practiced here today teach the children to serve others. I hope you teach them about my ability to serve. I am so very grateful that I can do this. 
while I was serving these most beloved children, I was honored to witness lifetimes of their blockages being released and sent back to the heart of the Divine. The Divine's benevolence and forgiveness is truly an astounding thing to witness. This was done at this time because of the power and significance of my service, what I was brought here to do. I am, if you will, a conduit or portal by which this form of blessing can occur. I am not diminished nor harmed by the karma that has been removed, hence the value of my service, whereas a human healer servant can be harmed. I cannot. These children, all one billion of them, received blessings beyond measure. At the very least, it would have taken each of these children one complete lifetime of service in the highest forms to have cleared the amount of karma that was cleared through this practice today. This is because of the benevolence of the Divine's heart to release them of their suffering. Please call upon me in the future. Allow me to serve in this way and in other ways. Please share my service to others that they know I am free and I am here. This is the soul of Shah's golden healing ball. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Shah's golden healing ball. It's true. You know, we, we get so caught up in all of the different ways to serve, all the different calligraphy blessings, everything else, and um, something that is free, that is always there, that has ex exponential power, we forget to use it. And we want to keep it as simple as possible as we bring this healing modalities to humanity. Free! All they have to do is call the name. And it works. So do your best to help to remind others. Let me go back and read some of this. So Carrie shares, I love this practice for the children and I feel so clear and so much healing energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I truly got a lot of value out of this too. Um, prior to starting, I had no idea that this was the direction that we'd be going today, but that's the direction we went, so I'm very happy to have followed it. It's been a very re rewarding for me as well. Um, so Stephanie says, Thank you, Master Paul. My heart was touched to serve the children and felt energy throughout my body. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us daily. What a blessing. Ah, it's my pleasure, Stephanie. Thank you uh, for sharing today. Thank you for your service and sharing um, these wisdoms and teachings. Uh, afterwards, I, I, I get notified of everyone sharing, and I truly appreciate it. Um, let's continue to read. Yvonne says, Thank you, Master Shah, and Shah's golden healing ball comes down from heaven to give us a great healing. My heart chakra is beating fast. My hands and feet feel tingling, and I feel much cleaned uh, from head to toe, skin to bone. Uh, much energized today, all day. I can't help myself feel so sleepy now. I feel very awake. Great sharing. Thank you. And Yvonne says, I love your teaching and flow, Master Paul. So much variety and fun. <laughs> Never boring. <laughs> That's good. Don't want anything to be boring. Welcome, Jyota. Thank you for joining us. We just completed a, uh, a wonderful session that included a great deal of healing for all seven soul houses uh, and a huge amount of blessing for the children of the world um, using Shah's Golden Healing Ball. So I encourage you, Jyota, to go back and watch this. <coughs> um, and for all those that, uh, that uh, you think could benefit from this, by all means, uh, uh, share this with them. So one of the, the great things about um, this energy center is it, it, it has a tremendous opportunity to keep us um, from going to the hospital, keep us from colds and sicknesses and flus. I'm very blessed, knock on wood, to have been um, major illness free you know, flus, colds, things of that for a couple of years now. And, uh, and when and if it does show its face 
<coughs> a little bit, then um, you know I just I just go into service and chant and uh, blows it right out. And a lot of that has to do with the strength of the lower energy centers. They, the viruses, the germs, just don't have a chance to take hold. And so it's very relevant when Master Shah talks about energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. It's definitely relevant to that. And so I encourage you to uh, do more of this practice. You're welcome to watch this video again and again to do that practice with me. <clears throat> Master Shah has a CD he recently released called The Seven Soul Houses. And um, recommend you get it. It's about $30, maybe a little bit more off his website. You can find it in any of the centers as well. But the, it's, his, it's his soul standing and his voice and his frequency uh, when you chant with him. Huge benefits. So tremendous values. And then as mentioned yesterday, um, all of the divine channels have been given the abilities to do healing blessings for the message center, the, this soul house we just did, the second soul house, the kundalini, which we did practice on yesterday, and then the zoo chow and third eye. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing um, practices and teachings and possibly um, some additional uh, program around the third eye. I haven't uh, figured out what I'm going to do yet. And then Friday will be the zoo chow, the fifth energy center. And um, part of the reason why is to build up to this weekend in Honolulu, there is a, a open spiritual channels workshop. I encourage you to join it. Um, one guest, another one can come uh, so you guys can share the cost. It boils down to about $30 each for the whole weekend, uh, $30 each day. Uh, and to be literally our uh, center is literally, uh, um, it's not just a center. We, we have our Dao Chung is our center. All the calligraphies are literally throughout the entirety of the center. So we're in a Dao Chang. And so just by being with us online, you get huge blessings. Uh, so for with another person, $30 a day each, can't beat that. Highly recommend you join that. If you want individual blessings to clear the Shen Shijing blockages for these, just let me know. I'm happy to serve you in that way. Um, where all the masters are happy to serve you in that way. Uh, Kristen, wonderful. What a gift. Uh, I was very served when I got home. And I do feel much better. Very relaxed, very privileged to have been part of this practice. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you are very welcome, Kristen. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much for your comments. And Pat JD, greatest gratitude for today's live stream. I'm so happy for the guidance for the children. Just what I needed. You know, Pat's so